Hello guys, it's Denny here from Gathering Rust Hobby Farm. Today we got a lot to do. We are currently on the road taking the big white Mega Cab Dodge Ram to get a new exhaust. It's got 330,000 miles. It's got the 5.7 Hemi in it. And uh, it's time for that uh, muffler to be replaced. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, already unloaded a load of firewood and stacked it. Uh, going to get out the steel uh, 391 and cut up some debris that's uh, fell down through the winter storms. And so we've got a lot to do today and hopefully we can get that that cleaned up today so that's what we're working on today look forward to showing you how things are done around the farm Hey guys, so we're out here now at the site where the tree is falling and so uh, we've already got one or two loads out of this. Uh, we're going to try to get it cleaned up, but I want to share something with you uh, real quick. On a, on a steel chainsaw, if you look at the fuel, when you're putting your fuel in and your bar and chain oil, uh, I have seen a lot of people that will put it in uh, in the wrong one so they'll put the bar and chain oil in the in the fuel side and they'll do the opposite and they'll wonder why their saw isn't running properly uh, it's easy mistake to do but I'd like to show you a way that uh, you can easily remember on the front of your saw you have a cap and on the back of the saw you have a cap the way that I remember it the front of the saw is closest to your bar so that is your bar and chain oil it's closest to the bar so this one is for your bar and chain oil this one is for your fuel it's closest to the throttle right here your throttle trigger so the one that's closest to your throttle that is for your fuel that's just an easy way to remember what you are looking at here so just wanted to share that with you might help somebody i hope it does let's get started
Question for you. When you get ends that won't go into be split leftover stuff, what do you do with them? Leave it down in the comments below. I'd like to know. Um, right now we just burn them in our big fire pit uh, in the summer. But just curious what you might do with them. Uh, I know my wife will take some uh, circle ones and sometimes we'll uh, make art out of them. Some people will use them for centerpieces, uh, put candles on, things of that nature. Curious what you do. Let me know.
Okay, we got the two saws cleaned up. That's the MS391. It's got a 20 inch bar on it. And then this is the MS250.